for two-time Grammy Award winner, Scotty Barnhart.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Velvet Note. How's everybody doing? Good to see you guys. Thank you guys very much for coming out tonight. And uh, the first composition we played for you is called Seven Steps to Heaven. And I'd like to take a second and sort of introduce the guys in the band. And on the drums back here, we have a recent graduate of uh, Florida State University, where I have been teaching down there. He's got his master's, and he moved back here to Atlanta, and he's an unbelievable young man on the drums, Mr. Robert Boone. On the drums. And this gentleman on the saxophone, we just met about three or four hours ago. And, uh, but when I was looking for to put, to put the band together, I needed someone to play tenor saxophone today. And uh, Mr. Kevin Smith said, we need to get John Sanford, man. We need to, need to get John Sanford. So he's a wonderful musician. Pleasure to meet him and play with Mr. John Sanford. <laughs> and on the bass, uh, no stranger to the velvet note, he also is a graduate of Florida State University and one of the top bassists in the world, Mr. Kevin Smith on the bass. <laughs> Kevin Smith on the bass. And this gentleman on the piano is my brother from another mother. And we go back about 30 years, probably, probably to about 1980, I think. And this gentleman is, a, I, I, I never do a gig in Atlanta without him on piano. If I can't get him, I can't play. Mr. Kevin Bales at the piano. Kevin Bales. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you, Tamara, for having me back. And uh, as she mentioned, this is a tribute to Miles Davis. And you know, you really can't do Miles justice in uh, a two night or even a three month kind of a tribute. He wrote and composed and played so much music that it's really impossible to do that. So what we're doing tonight is kind of focusing on between 1958 and 1968. And uh, his, his group, his quintet with uh, Rick Garland and John Coltrane, Cannibal Adderley, and Jimmy Cobb, and then the next one with Herbie Hancock and Ron Carter and Tony Williams and Wayne Shorter, they just redefined what was possible with the jazz quintet format. So we just got to keep going. and. Uh